Hello and welcome back to a new video. So in this video, we'll be taking this testimonials website to a next level. So the thing that I want you to build is something like this. So these are the set of testimonials that you have developed in the previous videos, right? So now, right over here, if I just press any card over here, suppose I'm going to press Saif Khan over here. There you go. I will be having a pop up of Saif Khan's testimonial right over here. And now if I click somewhere else, it would just go away. And then similarly, if I just press Jack over here, then I would have the testimonial of Jack. And if I just press some other developers testimonial, I would have a pop up of them. So it's very simple to make. There are like n number of ways to develop this thing. And the solution I'm going to show you a very easy way to solve this problem. And you'll often find this uh, feature available on each and every website. And also, if you're working as a React JS developer, you would be asked to build at some time in your career. So, yeah, let's get started. So the very first thing that we would do is. Let me just go back. So as you can see, I've, up, I've come up to a new application. You can just go to this URL that you're finding over here and just uh, start editing this thing with me. Or perhaps you can just watch the video. So now, if you guys remember, uh, we have this testimonials on the right hand side. So I'm going to make it small. So in order to solve this thing, we'll need two use states. All right, and a file where we would be having a pop up. Okay, so let me just quickly create a file by pressing this button over here, new file, and I'm going to call this thing pop up dot js. Okay, and I'm going to use the import statement. I'm going to import from react. Okay, react. That's it. And now I'm going to create a export default function. And I'm going to call this thing as pop up again. And I'm going to return this value. Okay, cool. Right over here. Um, yeah, we don't need anything else. I'm just going to write hi. What are you doing? And now uh i'm going to wrap this up right over here all right cool so you'll know why i'm wrapping this up in a moment but for now uh, i'm going to import this pop up so code sandbox has this awesome auto this feature so as you can see uh it's been imported over here hi what are you doing it's working it's working fine now after this thing uh, what we are supposed to do is that we're supposed to create a use state okay and that use state will contain the value of the uh, of a particular testimonial so I'm gonna write the name as testimonial or I'm gonna write it as particular testimonial i don't know it's, uh, it's very big but that's fine as long as we remember what it is that particular testimonial and i'm gonna write use state and this will be an object because if you remember we have the testimonial one testimonial as an object all right so now what i'm gonna do um for now i'm just going to uh copy this copy the very first one and paste it inside this use state all right and now uh i'm going to pass in you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy this whole part that we are seeing over here and i'm just gonna directly paste it over here in this way i will need to remove the call lg md because that's not what we are doing over here. All right. So it will throw an error because we do not have this value. So let me destructure value from here, which I'm going to pass it from here again. 
uh, which is over here value is equals to yes you have guessed it right it would be particular testimonial okay i'm gonna remove this thing don't need it cool so now uh, let me just reload this thing visit anyway i don't know what's wrong with this let me just reload it right away so as you can see uh, let me just open up a new window so as you can see over here um, we can basically see this part so now as you can see this is not in the flow of the website so its position is kind of absolute so let me show you what it is so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to popup.js and right over here i'm gonna let me just quickly write this thing as div okay and i'm gonna write give the class name as fixed d fixed okay which i'm gonna write the css for it in a moment and d center okay so these are the two classes that i need to use d fixed d that's hyphen fixed and this is a class all right and right over here i'm gonna write display as fixed cool and after that the display would be fixed and now after this thing uh we just we just need to do a couple of things over here like uh, so actually it should be position right so that way it would stay in this way no matter so now the thing that we are seeing over here is that uh, it's not on the top so it's very easy to do that just make the z index as 100 so no matter what this guy will be on the top and the one thing that you will notice that when we reload this page over here let me remove this thing so it's not on the center so it's very easy to center it if you remember i gave a class of d center let me make this thing small uh, yeah d center and i'm gonna make as top 50 percent left as 50 percent i don't know if anyone of you knows about the og technique of centering a div is this thing transform translate minus 50 percent minus 50 percent that is how you center a div now one more thing that we saw over here is that when we when this thing is chosen when we click this thing the background is like blur so that is why i have uh, you know removed this pop up from the flow of this div i'm gonna add a filter over here and make the filter and write filter over here and i'm gonna write blur 10px so it would make the background as blur so now we are done on the design part now it's all about the functionality part all right it's very simple and easy the very first thing that we will be needing is a state that will control the on and off of the pop-up so show pop-up set show pop-up okay and i'm going to use the use state and i'm going to make this thing false by default okay and i'm going to wrap this up and i'm going to write show pop-up only show this thing when only show this pop-up when this is true it's not true one more thing that we need to do is the blur part so similarly i'm going to wrap this up with the same thing again show pop-up is equals to true i'm gonna show this thing okay otherwise i'm gonna only add the app okay so now how do we make it as true 
so we need to add on click method over here right over here and i'm gonna i'm gonna we need to do two things over here so we will first things first we will need to make this thing at set show pop up as true and the second thing that we'll be needing is to make the set particular testimonial as the value that we are getting from the map function so now there you go everything works fine and everything works great so now one thing that you'll be seeing is that we will have we, we also had a feature where if i if i press somewhere then i would basically be removed from this uh, view so that is also very easy to achieve we just need to add a on click method to the app okay which is very easy if uh show pop up is equals to true then i'm gonna make this thing as set show pop up as false cool this thing works fine so yeah that's it for this video guys congratulations for making this website or application i hope that you have learned a lot in this particular video and if you do not understand anything you can go back of course and then watch the video again and if you have any doubts please feel free to reach out to me all right till then goodbye and take care